only about 30% of businesses that go up on the market actually sell, which is quite a scary statistic, really. And there's two approaches often that I see that we will talk about on the Exit Mastermind group, really. The first one is really where somebody approaches you, where a seller comes to you and says, hey, we want to buy your business. You have a negotiation, which is one-on-one. -on -one. Effectively, really, they control the power, right? You are looking at their process and adopting that process of whoever is trying to buy you. More often than not, that's a PE firm or a strategic looking to buy you, but you're operating effectively under their terms. And what can happen in those sorts of situations is things can start to not go well for you because basically you're not ready, right? You don't know and you haven't really made the preparations within the business to understand what it is you need to do to properly prepare and to sell your business, right? You've not gone through the process of preparing, getting your numbers in order, getting your house in order, getting everything ready. And typically what that means is lots of stuff comes up in due diligence. And rather than there being a big showstopper, often it can be death by a thousand cuts. Quite a painful process, really. And much of the time, being on somebody else's process, i.e. Being, being a strategic or a PE acquisition, they kind of know this. And so perhaps that initially negotiated price on the letter of intent is not the final price that ends up happening because of the due diligence process. And what can happen in that situation then is the whole sale can fall apart and you can feel a little bit disillusioned, exhausted, burnt out, all those kinds of things. I've spoken to many CEO founders who've been in that position, right? And don't get me wrong, those can go very well in those sorts of positions. Again, if you have everything in place, your business is in a good shape and you're exiting from a place of power. The other option then is running your own process where you effectively prepare yourself to go out to the market where you get everything in order. That might be engaging some account, you know, accountancy firms and an M&A advisor to get your finances in order to get everything on paper looking great, really. So anything that's or would have been pulled up in due diligence is already dealt with or at least open on the table when you go into a negotiation. And equally, when you go into it and run your own process, you can approach a number of potential buyers to then look at negotiating a different price amongst them, right? So you're going to a number of people that are out there. The, the power position tends to shift in that second scenario where you run the process, right? Because again, you're opening, you're really selling from an open book. People know what they're buying, so there's no surprises later on. And equally, you are speaking perhaps to a number of buyers about negotiating the best price or the best conditions for you. So effectively, you're running the process rather than Often what can happen from a cold outreach is where the process is run by the person buying you. Both can work, but generally the second one leads to a better level of success for you in terms of how well that goes and generally the outcomes that you get for yourself. We will talk about both of these scenarios on our exit masterminds that's coming up. It's for an mastermind for founders and CEOs on the road to an exit. And we will talk about the possible approaches and ways of exiting from a position of power. If you'd like to learn more, there's a link down there. I'd um, hopefully like to see you on there. Exit Mastermind. Now, if you are in the middle of a process where the things aren't going right for you and you're find, finding things are pretty tough right now, drop me, give me a line, drop me a call, right? Give me a call. We will chat about that right now. I'll happily jump on a call and see how you're doing and offer any advice I can to help you in the situation that you're in. Because again, it can be quite challenging and difficult for you. So if you are facing that right now, do get in touch. I'd, I'd love to help you. All right. Thanks again for your time. And I'll hopefully see you on the boss exit mastermind. Thank you very much. Bye bye.